at 12.39 p.m. on Tuesday, May the 30th, 2023. The convoy of Vice President Kashim Shetima arrives at his office at the Vice President's wing of the State House in Abuja. Excellency. Alighting from his vehicle, he exchanges pleasantries with some members of his staff and heads into his office, where he speaks to State House correspondents on the Tinubu administration's plans, which he describes as modern governance. The President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is poised to redefine the meaning and concept of modern governance. I want to assure Nigerians that he is going to provide the lead, he is going to provide the leadership, and will rally around him, give him our unequivocal support and loyalty to see to the realization of the Nigerian dream. When asked about the Tinubu administration's plans on the issues of multiple exchange rates and the fuel scarcity experienced in the country following the president's inauguration speech, Vice President Shetima describes both issues as the big elephants in the room. The poor 40 percent of Nigerians benefit very little from the fuel subsidy. And we know the consequences of unveiling a masquerade. We'll get peers opposition from those benefiting from the oil scam, oil subsidy scam. But where there is a the will, there is a the way. The issue of multiple exchange rates, we need to collapse it into one. So these are two big elephants in the room. It is assured that we are going to work harmoniously as a team, as a family, for the greater good of our nation. Hitting the ground running on day one, the Vice President Kashim Shetima reminded Nigerians that the era in which we're in is a rendezvous with destiny. Speaking up about the fuel scarcity being faced right now, he reaffirms the statement of his principal, President Bola Tinubu, stating that the era of subsidies are over and promising better days ahead for the Nigerian people. From the State House in Abuja, Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.